Hey beans, there's no food here, okay? Brisket later. I'm fixing the smoke fire, adding some parts. So I'm trying to compare the differences between the two. And you notice that uh, the kink here, the little kink here is gone. barbecue again you've seen um, I have a dozen Weber's smoke fire episodes I uh, am happy to report that uh, the folks at Weber sent me two boxes slide pellet hopper for the 36 inch cooker right. this must be the part that will go into the Weber smoke fire a little shoot here okay so this must be the bottom and this must be the top of the hopper. Hmm. Okay, this looks like part of the uh, chute assembly. Maybe they redesigned this. A bunch of instruction manuals here. Let's see here, smoke fire, auger, chute, instructions. Replace the auger and pin auger shoot replacement instructions all right so we've got a little bit of reading to do we'll go clean up the uh, smoke fire do some assembly give it a run do a little test see uh, if uh, these uh, parts that Weber sent me will you know run the smoke fire more efficiently hopefully more reliably uh, I want to address the fact that many of my other friends uh, on YouTube and my friends themselves, uh, we kind of split into multiple camps. Some folks uh, love the smoke fire. Folks like me, I'm kind of in group one. Um, I like it and it works for me. I know some folks are in group three who have had the smoke fire, didn't like it so much. Some even returned it or uh, they are kind of frustrated with the smoke fire. Uh, I, I would have to guess that these uh, parts that Weber sent out are supposed to address uh, sort of I think three issues that I've been hearing on the internet a lot. Uh, one is that the pellets aren't kind of falling smoothly into the uh, bird pot and into the auger and you kind of have to stir the pellets now and then. Uh, also causing some cavitation, sometimes the pellets don't drop. So I think that's what the hopper slide is for. Uh, some folks uh, I heard also uh, on the internet that they are having flame out so the uh, pie pellets are not getting into the hopper or somehow so I guess this little doohickey thingy called the chute is going to be part of the solution set here and then uh, the auger assembly to take care of that and the third thing that's happening is the software is being updated also and I did the software update I noticed when I turned on my smoke fire yesterday uh, it's now March the 27th so uh, I think the, the software went out a few days ago, but when I turned on my smoke fire, I noticed that my phone was updating my smoke fire. So it's probably got a new algorithm in it. So we'll set this all up, give it a cook, and tell you guys the results. Before you begin, of course, uh, unplug and turn it off before you start. All right, let's remove the pellets. Weber recommends that uh, you uh, cover the pellet hopper hole with a piece of cloth so that your screws don't end up falling into the hopper which is a good idea remove the uh, screws here Cover off next. Take off the hopper lid, 516th wrench. Now that the hopper lid is off, let's go ahead and remove the whole hopper assembly. You have to take out four screws here. And on this side, Unplug the uh, glow plug wire, unplug the auger motor. Let's carefully unplug the auger motor here. Push the little tab, pull it out gently like so. 
Now we want to remove the uh, auger motor assembly. There's two screws here. The other one is here. And we gently lift this thing up. Make sure that you catch your pellets. There you have the auger assembly motor. I've taken the four screws off uh, the uh, hopper chute assembly from the hopper itself. It comes up like that. Okay, let's remove the whole hopper pot assembly because this will be replaced by the new one-piece unit. Hey Beans, there's no food here, okay? Brisket later. I took apart the assembly and uh, in the original OEM unit, this is kind of one piece like that. This one fastens here and this one fastens here. This design and this is the new one. So I'm trying to compare the differences between the two. Obviously, this one is a much more streamlined design. It's one piece. And uh, rather than have this thing in two pieces, is now in kind of one piece like that. Let's disassemble the auger. Move the four screws here. Let's move the auger pin here. The old auger is disassembled and we're going to remove this plate and put a new plate on. I have the uh, old uh, auger on my left and the new one on my right. So I am going to do a comparison to see if there's any difference at all. Starting on this end here. Huh. They look exactly the same. So there's no change in the auger. Right, so same exact length, same exact diameter, so no change in the auger, just in the auger, hopper, and assembly. So let's assemble your unit now, and uh, this is the uh, auger motor, and uh, this bracket that they provide uh, goes on a very specific way. So if you see where this label is, right, the uh, piece goes here, like so with the uh, two holes facing this way so that you can uh, uh, install the uh, hopper like this. So you probably want to check this out before you start installing to make sure that everything fits nicely, that uh, you can get all the parts aligned um, with the uh, unit here. And uh, first thing that goes on is this piece here. As I was putting it back together, I realized that uh, Weber has a problem because uh, the screws that they've included are actually too long because the uh, assembly has changed. So this was the old piece here. And uh, together with the bracket, it was actually uh, thicker. So now that it's uh, thinner, with just this bracket, the screws are too too long. So you're not able to get it all the way in. It stops like this. This plate is loose, right? So that's not gonna work. So I uh, was looking through the bag here and I found uh, some odds and ends here. And they did include a couple of spacing washers here, but only two. But there were also another couple of these uh, friction washers here. So I'm going to do a little MacGyver and install the plate using those extra washers that was provided in the kit and uh, show you guys what we do here. Put the new auger on and put on the new uh, cotter pin.
assemble the uh, new chute assembly here. Be careful not to crimp any of the wires. Make sure that this uh, is aligned down here and the uh, new uh, auger assembly and the housing is all properly aligned. Screw everything back together. Before we put the uh, screw on this one here, let's go ahead and install the uh, hopper insert. The auger mechanism goes back in like so. Ready to go. The new auger is in place. And uh, put back the uh, chute here. Here are the old parts. And uh, let's start that up. Go to 250. And I'm going to leave the TP off and uh, the fire pot shield off. Let's see how it works here. Make sure the auger is working. Fuel heat. Glow plug is on. I don't know about you guys, but I like this kind of stuff. Something uh, nice about something mechanical and uh, something that uh, humans design that all comes together. So, hard to explain, but stuff like this is fun so for all those pyromaniacs out there this is uh, what we like to see fire smoke later on we add the meat and we're happy I'm at temp unit seems to be running normally looks like uh, the mods were installed properly will it work better than before only one way to find out with more cooks will be coming your way on the smoke fire ex6